very early on, I told Tom that, uh, that I wanted this next installment of Mission to have a sense of adventure. I wanted to make a bigger film, a, a more global film. Uh, and part of that was, uh, was making a more romantic film. And nothing felt as romantic to me as, as a train, as particularly the Orient Express. Um, and that, of course, when it, when it collides with Mission Impossible, turns into an action sequence on a train, and it probably isn't going to end well for the train itself. Mission had done a train sequence before, all the way back in the first Mission Impossible. Uh, and a lot of that had been done on a stage. We wanted to do one that was practical. We wanted to build upon what was learned on that sequence and apply all of that knowledge to something practical and real. And that meant uh, building a train where Isai Morales, who plays our villain, and Tom could be fighting on the roof of that train and also uh, how to wreck the train, how to wreck the locomotive. And in so doing, how do you, how do you keep that as a sequence? Uh, the, once the train wreck happens, the sequence is over. How do we go beyond that? How do, how do you have a train wreck happen so that you can stretch the event out? It's not one simple cataclysm, but many. That, uh, that ambition uh, evolved into what is now the train wreck in our film. And it, it quite literally is a train wreck happening in slow motion. It's a, uh, it was an extremely, extremely challenging sequence not just to uh not just to execute but also to to design it was working out the physics of what that would be and uh and then and then how to design all the different train cars and how to design all the equipment to shoot these stunts that we were uh that we were creating and we did not limit ourselves in the least based on whether or not something could physically be achieved uh, if we ran into an obstacle, we had to figure out how to overcome it. We didn't just allow ourselves to, to toss things out. And we created something that was, uh, that was quite challenging, quite, quite challenging.